Hey guys, this is Kevin. I hope you come here because you got this uh, error code 0xf4. In this video, we're going to troubleshoot it and I'll show you how to eliminate other possibilities and solve this problem. If you're new on YouTube, let me show you how important it is to like the video that actually helped you. So let's say we got this uh, Epson 0xf4 error. Something wrong with the printer. This error may occur due to unavailable ink in your. That's bullshit. This Xerox 4 have nothing to do with ink. And uh, see their solution. First of all, download their repair tool. Okay, don't do this. You are downloading spams. Okay, second, how to troubleshoot. And uh, big flag is give you lots of things. It just like common bo boilerplate things. This technique, this technical issue can be displayed many reasons, such as paper jamming, lack of ink, ink run, and even the ink spooler. So how to fix it? First of all, you need to download something on your printer. Bullshit and uh, shame on you, spams. Okay, this is a fix here. Yeah. Look at this. Okay, fix yeah. You you trust that? Something wrong with your printer. The error primarily because the unavailable ink. And uh, what's the solution? First of all, download repair tool. Okay, so let's see. Let's see how, how long we need to scroll down to find the real solution. Something wrong with the hardware software. Spam. Low level ink spam. Something like a paper jam with the compatibility of the interface one. And this is legend, legend one. Uh, yeah. Okay, uh, this may be correct. So how you can tell it's correct is have no interest of you to calling them or downloading something. And uh, another thing is uh, look at gibberish. Okay. The solution on this page is useless. Uh, basically, th this is some guy just copied the uh, absence repair menu. So I'm interested in the first part of the, their solution. So I'll copy that and I'll come back to it. And after that, spam, spam, spam. This is not, not spam, but the ink level. So the wrong solution. Um, and let's see if uh, YouTube is better. Okay, whenever they put their phone number on, ask them to call you, spam, okay. Spam, spam. And this may be relevant. They usually they don't have sound or they have a robotic sound. And uh, they don't have sound because they just copy the web page I saw and uh, paste them here. And uh, this guy got uh, 9,000 views and uh, 8 thumbs ups. What's wrong with people? See, download the reimage repair tool. There you go. And the second one, new solution by Robert John. How American it is. First of first of all, download repair to due to deplete the ink level, wrong and uh, spam. Okay, this guy, this guy probably, yeah, this guy actually doing it. So, actually. When you find some someone is actually doing it, okay. In case you can, you guys cannot find it. It's right here. Click like, okay. Click like before you scroll away or like do anything else. Click like so we will bump up this guy's reading on YouTube, and also Amazon. Not Amazon. Google owns YouTube, so it will bump up this guy's video on the uh, on the Google, so it will help others. Okay. Since I'm here, 
another spam as you go to a legit website of uh, some companies for example like my company uh, you, uh we have a support page support at bchtechnologies.com so you go here and uh, i de de disable the community so which is a self-help section and you probably won't see it and uh, see i disabled it they're all like a zero post i don't allow people to post what happens is, and uh, there are a lot of there are some spammers they register their username as for example they register their username as a tech support or bch support then they post uh, same thing as others okay they post like a download our software and uh, something like that oh that this is really easy to resolve and they just call us and uh, so if you call the phone number or you download the software they only uh, they from uh, some like uh, they from uh, some country India <coughs> sorry excuse me to clear my throat so they're from some country and uh, they ask you for your credit card or something and uh, I actually I get uh, people call me say okay we I paid a uh, BCH support to do this and uh, I said what what you're talking about and they say oh we download your software and uh, I we subscribe to like a uh, 49.99 a month uh, and I was like uh, where you saw that I created said, so, well we saw from your web page and that the person replied to us is from PCH support okay you can see where this coming right okay oh by the way today's video is shot in uh, in the lab so there will be some background noise I hope you guys can stand it I uh, remember when I tell you the correct solution and what it looked like the correct solution look like a gibberish okay so the person do not uh, uh, do not ask you to download software the uh, the person have no interest in answering your question so that should sounds like a correct solution so it's a pf pid pf encoder pf something pf something and uh, you're going to find it something with, to do with a page feed pf okay and then you think like what part is related to pf and uh and uh, there's a good document of a kind of like a connector uh, of all the uh, apps and connections and uh, so this is a 7620 connection document you can get from uh, bch technologies and uh, the document look like this and show you all the connections were and uh, so if you look the chart anything with a pf one is 51 so 51 is this uh, iff little ffc cable is right here okay so let's if you can go in you're going to see uh that cable uh connect to that right thing that light up the thing light up is called the encoder sensor and uh, the bigger round disk is called encoder or encoder scale. So that that thing light up is a reader. I read this. Uh, I read this timing scale. Uh, if you can see this, this is wrong thing. When this thing spins, okay. When this disk spins, and uh, there are little tiny marker on the wheel, and. The, the information gonna, gonna fed into that uh, reader, and the reader send the information back to the to the main board. Okay, okay uh, like let, let me get a purse so you can see my website to get the replacement yet. I don't think this is the case. Uh, it is really rare that uh, you get a problem here. And, uh, and, uh, and also I'll, t I'll, I'll teach you how to check it. So this disc got a read where that... Uh, what other piece are you looking at? Why is this one? Yeah. Yeah, here's the reader. The re when you have electricity on, the reader gonna turn red. So this thing gonna read it, okay? And uh, so either this thing is broken, this thing is broken, or the cable is broken, or it, there are some uh, disconnection there. Okay, to, ch to check on this, let's do this. Turn this off. And we're gonna unplug that cable here. 
Okay. Remember, this is the information goes into the mainboard. So if we unplug this, say if we can still get air, okay, maybe we got different air. Nope. Okay. So it's not that. So I turn this off and I plug the cable back. So without any input from the encoder uh, sensor, the printer still displays the same error. So uh, I'm thinking uh, maybe the printer detects something else is wrong beforehand. So let's uh, put a paper clip on the encoder failure and uh, check on the second one, PF motor failure. So, so this, this part I think is okay. And now it's... Uh, so to turn the wheel, you have to have that, that uh, uh, they call the timing belt, the, the golden belt. And this thing, sometimes this thing is fall off. Okay. Mm -hmm. So now, now it's, this, is, this one is on there and uh, it goes to the, the PF motor. Okay. And uh, PF motor, let me see the connection. PF motor is connected. So this is the PF motor connection. Okay, so make sure make sure this is connected. Okay, and uh, the other side is you you pull you pull this back, and also you want to see those uh, those two wires, they are welded. Okay, you see the motor there back mm -hmm. down there. So yep. yeah, so you have to check on that. So. And uh, now, now we get a, we make sure it's connected. Uh, actually, let me tell you what's wrong with this one. Uh, somehow that connection is is pretty weak. So if you jiggle it, it's really loose. Mm. Uh, so I just adjusted the pin. So now now the connection is okay. So I, so I'm thinking it's going to work this time. Okay, let's try it. And uh, first thing you're going to notice when I press no is this thing is moving. That means the motor back there is good, so you don't need to worry about the. That's called a carriage CR motor, carriage return motor, okay, printed carriage motor. So I just noticed that. So that thing is moving. And next, we want to see is that this thing must be spinning, and you can see the spinning. Okay. Um, ow, 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 cut my, my hand. Okay. <laughs> That's another error is don't put your hand don't in Don't put your hand in <laughs> yeah. it. And, danger uh, error. Okay. Second thing is uh, if that thing turning, so the PF motor, there's no problem with the PF motor. And uh, when also when that disc is spinning, and uh, see that if you get uh, anything okay. on that disc, you get a, uh, sometimes you get ink spill, anything, but it look all clear. So that's why I tell you earlier, I don't think there's something wrong with the disk. So I think you got everything fixed. We got everything fixed. Okay, I'll put in the hand right there. So we covered the first two possible causes, and PF encoder failure and the PF motor failure. And we found that our problem is the PF motor disconnected. And uh, if you need to keep troublesho troubleshooting, you may have a PF drive mechanism, uh, either a piece of uh, physical jam or something that make your wheel cannot turn. And then a cable disconnection, the golden cable may fall off, which I covered earlier. And after that, you may have a bad mainboard. Okay, right now the printer is asking for cartridges. We don't have any cartridges. And take a look there. We don't have anything there. So no. that's why uh, that's why I asked for cartridges. But however, you see the error is gone. So right now we can go to the second step to fix it. Okay, cool. Okay, I hope you enjoyed this video and uh, I hope it can help you to troubleshoot it. Uh, if you uh, have a printer that you have to fix but you can't, and uh, you can try our printer service and just go to bchtechnology.com and go to printer repair service and we can repair regular desktop and all the way to DTF, DTG and uh, subdivision printers. Okay, I hope you have a healthy relationship with your printer. Come visit us at www.bchtechnologies.com or locally at Greensboro, 
North Carolina. Cheers. Oh, uh, just one more thing. I did call that uh, number on the on the YouTube that uh, spam number, and uh, mm -hmm. I was thinking like I'm making a video. Uh, it's funny like I call them and ask them to fix a printer and uh, see what they come up with. Anyway, I just gathered this long hold and. Uh, uh, my wife at home is waiting me to plant some more zucchinis, so uh, I need to go to garden and work. And uh, so maybe next time. I called uh, two different numbers on two different YouTube accounts. It's exactly the same thing. They ask you to put a three digits number in. And the uh, first time it always tell you this number is incorrect and ask you to uh, key in again. You key in again. And then there's a long hold. Say if you leave a more voicemail, press one. Uh, otherwise, stay on the line. And uh, I mean, always going on. So I wonder if I uh, wonder like if there's a scheme that they they want to uh, uh, they want you to leave a voicemail and then they call you. Uh, okay, so uh, we'll do the spam call next time. Okay, cheers. To leave a voicemail or hold to get connected to our customer service executive.